So we're on our way home from Gifu. We will have a hotel in Gifu City tonight to stay at. And on the way back from the old village Hida, we found this cat on the expressway. Um, warning, it, this is pretty graphic. Mm, you may want to look away. So, this cat has been pretty, pretty badly injured. This is her tail, but as you can see, it's healed up. This cat has survived. It doesn't seem to be in a lot of pain anymore. She was really scared at first. Um, actually, I don't know if it's a he or she yet. I can't tell, and I don't want to bother her back end too much right now. She was eating a tanuki roadkill when we found her. Um, tanuki raccoon. She'd found some roadkill and she was trying to chew some stuff off the bones and she was very frightened but she's obviously domesticated because she let me get close to her and she let me pick her up and for most of the trip here to this rest stop where we are right now She's been sitting here sleeping and purring on my lap. Okay. So we decided that we we're going to change our plans. And while we were going to stay in Gifu City tonight, um, our next day was actually in Aichi anyway, which is where we live. So we we're just going over to Aichi tonight. And June and I are going to stay at our apartment. And um, Chris and Mo are going to stay near us. And first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to take her to the vet because um, there are no vets open this late at night. And obviously, since her tail is healed over, it seems like she's been like this for a while. Um, she wasn't limping. She wasn't in pain when I picked her up or anything. So I think she'll be fine until the morning when we can get her to a vet. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to take her to the vet first thing in the morning and wait to see what he has to say. She's going to need some surgery obviously I'm sure he's gonna want to do some x-rays to see what's going on if there's been any other damage she's obviously got she's sick right now we'll probably have to do a blood test to make sure she doesn't have something like feline HIV uh it's a mess so <laughs> she's she's very stinky she's very very dirty and matted um it's, it's really hard to tell with the light right now sorry this is the best I have oh, she's licking my leg but she seems, she seems okay. Like she was licking me the whole way here and purring. And so she's obviously domesticated. We just stopped here and got her a little bit of food. Um, I don't want to feed her too much in case she hasn't eaten in a while. She doesn't seem like overly skinny. So she may have been doing okay for herself or she may have wandered away from someone's house not too long ago. But we fed her some, a um, little bit of sausage, and she was very, very happy to eat. It was hard to keep it out of her, but I tried not to give her too much just to avoid upsetting her stomach. Um, and we'll see how she does, how she does tonight. And um, I'm not sure what to do about her. We'll see what the vet says, but um, yeah, obviously she's going to need some surgery and stuff, at least to remove the tip of her tail. And yeah, it's probably going to cost quite a bit so we may try to do a small fundraiser to, to take care of that um, since that would be it's probably going to cost quite a bit to get her back on her feet but she seems like a sweetheart and we couldn't just leave her there on the expressway she was she was just walking across the road when we saw her and June <laughs> Mo and I made June stop we went out and got her um, I know you're not supposed to stop on the expressway, but we were careful, and there wasn't too much traffic, fortunately. It was pretty easy to get her. I hope you're gonna do okay, yeah, baby. Yeah. Poor thing, this poor thing. Mm. What a mess. Okay, so this is the kitty we picked up. We set her up with, oh gosh. Poor thing. <laughs> we set her up with Hina's old bed and some food and water. She's eaten most of the food. She drank a lot of water and we don't have our litter here because it's with Haku at 
um, June's parents' house, but we had this old litter, old litter box, and apparently this is some sort of cat thing, cat pee absorbing pad that hopefully she can use until we get her to the vet tomorrow. Oh, this poor thing. She's a mess. I wanted to try to clean her up a little bit, but I don't want to stress her out too much. You can see these black spots. This looks like asphalt almost. She's got some matted spots underneath her stomach with her fur too, so I'm gonna try to trim some of those off. And I've been trying to at least wipe her down a little bit. I'm not gonna give her a full bath right now. So hopefully I can get her feeling a little bit more comfortable at least. And I'll stay out here with her until we get her to the vet tomorrow. I keep saying her, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but until we figure it out, it's a her. Oh, poor thing. Poor, poor thing.